And, and there's a lot of factors that contribute to this. We know that medications can be involved, drugs can be involved, pornography, specifically in our younger crowd, where we see that there is a consumption of, of material that leads to inability to, to have normal sexual function. And there's a lot of reasons why this occur rather outside of medications and, and sort of the things that can go on in your head. And, and our sexual organs are mainly a vascular tissue. It, it has a lot of blood vessels and it has a lot of nerves in it. And over time, those nerves and blood vessels become less active, less healthy, less resilient. And I, I use this analogy for a lot of people in the office. I, I tell them about, you know, when I was a kid, we'd, we'd have these big sponges that look like bricks almost that we would wash cars with. And imagine if you left that sponge out in the hot sun for a whole summer, and then you came back in the fall, it would be very brittle. It wouldn't really hold any water because all of the pockets inside of it have been broken down.